Okay, uh, welcome friends. Uh, this is the Hobby Astronomer and uh, running a short video tonight. I haven't really put anything up on uh, YouTube in a while. And uh, tonight we're imaging the uh, Hercules Galaxy Cluster and uh, right now I'm just running a series of 30 luminance subs of five minutes long uh, one of the things that uh, happened recently is I've upgraded from an 8 edge HD scope to 11 edge HD scope and there's a big question on whether or not the uh, you know how well the 10 micron mount can really handle the 11 edge HD so I have a GM 1000 HPS that's rated for up to a 55 pound uh, astro imaging payload and uh, you know I was really curious how well that uh, the uh, mount would handle the scope well I've discovered that the C11 is a much different uh, animal than the, uh, the C8 the 8 inch scope is fairly forgiving it's easy to work with and the 11 inch scope is a little bit more of a challenge sometimes you have mirror slop uh, and I seem to have uh, somewhat tamed this uh, here's my guide graph so you know when we take a look at the guide graph and what's going on here I'll zoom in a little bit you know that shot group is real tight and my guide graph over here you know looks kind of like it's rumbling along a little bit but when you look at the distribution of the points in the uh, PhD2 guide graph very good guide you know graph good performance tonight when you come over and you look at the uh, the image itself it's just uh, just really pretty and the stars are very very nice and round don't have any jelly bean shaped stars don't have any egg shaped stars so uh, doing pretty well with that the other thing that I've uh, had to work with is I moved away from uh, the scope that I got was used and it came with a uh, uh, Star Arizona uh, focuser set up I think they call it the feather touch focuser and uh, so I'm running one of these and uh, it is repeatable focus because you can get it back to the uh, the same place again and again you know on your your pointing but uh, I've uh, seemed to have this fixed I did get uh, the backlash compensation enabled so I feel like I'm able to get a reasonably good focus with this and uh, I'm fairly happy but the 11 edge HD I seem to have either tamed or I'm on the way to taming the scope of getting around stars the uh, reason that I moved to the 11 edge HD was simply that uh, I was imaging at f10 and uh, I wanted to be able to complete uh, you know an imaging process project much faster so at f10 on the 8 edge HD I was imaging at a 2000 millimeter focal length and I move up to the 11 edge with a 0.7 focal reducer to uh, speed up my uh, data acquisition time or cut that in half so I was concerned about moving up to the bigger scope but if you look at the guide graph and this is an uh, interesting guide graph but if you look at the distribution of the points here it seems like the GM 1000 HPS can really handle the C11 or the 11 edge HD by Celestron now I don't have the mirror locks locked down or anything like that this is the shot group I'm getting over here the distribution of points now one of the things with the C11 is it's a much bigger scope than the 8 it's very sensitive to the wind so uh, what I'm using 
is a, a skybox right now which is a little structure with a wind blocking tarp I'm going to put up another video behind this of the skybox itself but I've gotten the uh, the wind off the scope so with the wind off the scope uh, the scope guides very very well it seems like the mount is able to handle it I'm able to get these uh, you know the coveted round stars on my images so I seem to be getting pretty good results so I feel like the uh, mastery of the 11 Edge HD is within reach and I'm doing all the things to compensate for the slop in the mirror that is there and I'm using uh, some backlash compensation on the uh, the, uh, the focuser but uh, you know it's coming together for me nice round stars you know and uh, I'm very very happy well I guess I need to tell my wife that the laundry is ready but uh, I'm gonna go check out now but uh, just want to put up another video uh, GM 1000 HPS is doing uh, very very well moving up from a payload where I was running about 30 pounds to running a payload of right at 50 pounds with I think 53 pounds of counterweights right now so uh, getting good performance out of this I'm very happy hopefully the clouds don't move in tonight and uh, I'll be able to have a little fun and uh, you know get a, uh, a nice image of the Hercules galaxy cluster so I'll post this up on cloudy nights later and uh, always thanks for watching and uh, clear skies guys